Alright guys, so look, I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. This is not clickbait. We got calls uh, from ADT, our alarm place, that there was a sensor in the warehouse went off. We thought it was just a, a, a raccoon or a squirrel or something. Summer's back and there's there's always critters in there, we can tell. Uh, but then we got a call again from ADT about an hour and 45 minutes later saying another alarm went off. And this time it was in the hallway. And then next thing you know, we're getting a call from ADT saying that the Garland Police Department, the fire department there, and that uh, uh, the grime signs, I'm not worried, we have insurance, but uh, our building is on fire. Oh my God, y'all. I'm shaking so bad. Oh my God, y'all. Please, Lord Jesus. You're gonna have to forgive me about the volume. I know it's loud, but here's the update. So we are with the arson investigator. Uh, Gina is right over there talking to him. Uh, we don't know yet, uh, but here's what I know. Here's the update. It, it's a loss. Uh, hey, don't worry. We have insurance. We have lots of insurance. So we're not worried about that. We're glad that everybody's safe, but now I'm just wondering if somebody said this, but he's not gonna know, but Okay, so the entire back warehouse is gone. It's completely gone, and the back wall of this building right here, he says, has collapsed. So, they think it might have started outside, so somebody could have started one of the bins on fire out back, and then that's right where it got to that building. So right now, uh, it looks like it might have started outside, uh, and then it went inside to the building, uh, which I guess... Man, I don't know. Gina's gonna call an insurance adjuster, guys. I have no idea how this is gonna go. So after I had it out with that cop, and I, look, guys, I'm an easygoing guy. That guy was completely unprofessional. I don't want to call. I don't want to get his job in trouble or anything like that. But he was a jerk, a complete jerk. And it takes a lot for me to say that about somebody. So anyway, here's the dang deal. We have to wait. They're still putting out the fire in the second building. Uh, we literally, there was flames all the way up to the ceiling, but somebody that was driving by, so here's the deal. He's curious about, I'm all over the place, I know, I'm sorry. ADT, our alarm company, called us at like 1.30 and said, hey, there's a motion sensor going off. Uh, we asked, hey, did any doors get popped open? No, okay, well, that's good. It's a raccoon. They call us all the time. We always say the same thing. Doors and windows good. They're like, yeah, it's good. And then, uh, and then we'll get up here and everything's fine because we know we have raccoons. We know we have one cat uh, that likes to run around this whole circle. And then we have a lot of squirrels. I've actually seen a squirrel in our building and birds. So anyway, uh, the motion sensor went off and then they called us back and said a motion sensor went off in the hallway. Okay. And so it was like, it went off in the bag and again, no doors. And then three hours later or two, an hour later, they said, there's a fire. So that's what the arson investigator is saying. He's like, it doesn't make sense. They had the ability to detect smoke. So why did the motion sensors go off beforehand? And so anyway, right now it's speculation, but I mean, it looks like possibly somebody 
could have burned down Grimes Fines Auction House. All right, guys, so we are heading up to Starbucks, the arson investigator, super nice guy. I we uh, he asked if we wanted coffee i said actually why don't we go get you y'all coffee so i'm gonna go buy a bunch of big uh, boxes of starbucks coffee and get him one all right guys so we have just come in here um without permission so we'll ask for forgiveness later if we're asked to leave we're not going to get any closer than this because if you can see this was the back part of the warehouse and if you'll see it's kind of angling a little bit uh, and so what they're doing is they're bringing in dozers and everything and they're gonna knock these walls down because they just said that I mean, it's really dangerous These things are gonna fall and the roof collapsed And so what he says there's all this stuff like still on fire underneath the metal So they've got to come in here dig that up put more water on it make sure that the fire's out that way that All right, guys, so I just wanted to show you this real quick. If you look straight ahead, uh, you'll know that that is the, the door to the second warehouse right there. You can see where the firefighters actually had to go in and cut it, and that thing like that, that's the roof. All right, guys, so this is the right side of the building, and as you can see, the wall has collapsed. The fire department had to enter in there. Uh, Y'all know this, this was part of the showroom right here, and on the other side uh, was the other half of the showroom with the display cases and all that, but if you, you'll see right here, uh, the uh, that fireman was just telling us to be careful for the walls because he said they're shady, obviously, right? And so if you look here, the roof actually collapsed. This was the shipping center, guys. This is where you saw all the videos where we were doing all the shipping. And back here is where the 40-yard container was. Uh, I'll take you over there a second. We'll peek through that hole. Uh, but there it is, guys. This is not clickbait. We literally just lost our entire business. All right, guys, so y'all know Lunker over at Lunker's TV. Uh, that's where we were storing all of Lunker's storage finds that he was buying. Uh, but as you can see, literally Lunker stuff is on fire. It's burning. Uh, this is where we had all the palletized stuff of stuff that we had just bought. Um, so, guys, again, everything's a total loss. But, hey, no worries to any of the consigners watching or listening. We do have insurance. You're good. Uh, it's just going to take a little time to sort everything out. hard to uh, hear apologize for that but this is the back part obviously where we would unload the product uh, again this is a better angle that's where the fireman had to go in there that wall is leaning so we're staying at a safe distance we're actually uh, with one of with one of the gentlemen in charge and we are just uh, staying back at a safe distance but guys it, this is no joke we lost everything we just lost everything all right guys so here's the deal here's where we are so far so the big equipment is here um they've got to come in there the them and the fire chief and all the other the the guys have been phenomenal here with the fire department the city of garland two thumbs up so kind and gracious not just doing their job but very compassionate towards our situation right now i'll be honest guys i don't know if this has hit me yet. i keep feeling like i'm about to bust out in tears and i don't uh but that's the bulldozer it's about to go uh, start knocking down the walls and all that stuff
Right, guys so just a little bit of a different clip right here uh, these are the uh, firemen in the uh, the fire academy right now they're rookies and so look they're being instructed uh, hey how how cool is this I just wanted to pop in and show you this so uh, one of you guys spent a thousand dollars in gold and diamond jewelry and I, I can't I really can't I can't speak highly enough about the Garland uh, fire department and just all the different kind of pieces of it man just compassionate and doing their job very well but also just being very uh sympathetic towards our situation but anyway uh so inside this building right here uh y'all know this is our, our main uh, gallery building uh so anyway uh one of the nice gentlemen just went in there and got all the jewelry out look this is how everything is going to be guys that's not a black cigar box that was wood at one point uh but look here is the gold jewelry so we will probably be giving refunds on this stuff if we can't get it looking as pretty or prettier than it was originally.
We just got back here on the scene uh, everybody is gone we were just out at the Guggen squad headquarters uh, I just another shout out to Rob uh, just Guggen squad but especially uh, because we're using their warehouse to store the unit we bought yesterday and um, sorry the U-Haul guys are here picking up all the trucks all the trailers it's all got to go y'all um, oh my god um, this is the first time I've seen it since it's been done but that used to be the big warehouse right here I'll just show you Y'all, this has been my entire life that I've tried to build, and it's like uh, Gina's here too. Uh, but anyway, so right here, uh, I'm just gonna take you in here. I'm gonna flip it around, and uh, we'll go. Okay, guys. So y'all will recognize this as the old U-Haul uh, location. Uh, our U-Haul guys are down there. Uh, that's our reps truck, and there's another guy. He's just picking up trailers, guys. Gina's here with me. The crew is uh, finishing out the day. Uh, we have nowhere to meet tomorrow, so we are going to be meeting at my house, and we're going to come up with a game plan. 
Uh, guys, this isn't just about a building. All of our product, everything was in here that we had invested into this. And it's just the thing, it's like the insurance company, I don't know how long it's gonna take. I don't know how this how long this takes. Look, they just pushed this wall over. Um, so yeah, look, everything is gone. Oh my God, I didn't even realize where I was, but this was our bay door. There's our 40 yard container. Uh, I'm not gonna go near that wall. I don't want it to fall. Uh, but yeah, here's where we just were making videos guys. We literally were just making videos right here uh, Where we were being silly and playing the games and stuff. So uh, Yeah um, I can't even really recognize anything in here. We just all those beds right there Were stacked in that corner real nice. Oh, no, it wasn't I don't, guys, I, I can't even recognize my own building. I don't even know where I'm standing, but I know all those beds. Oh, yeah, there's the beds. Uh, oh, there's our 40 yard container. There used to be a door right there. Oh, there is the door. Look, guys, there's the door. Uh, just pieces of books. That well, looks like there's Marilyn Monroe. She didn't get burned. The only thing that would make me probably smile right now if I found like an unburned Bible, like in all those other stories. Uh, look, there's the trailer. That's the door frame. That's all that's left. There's our other 40 yard container. Uh, there's still some product that we just bought that's covered with tarps. Oh my God, the smell in here is horrific, guys. Uh, I'm definitely not gonna go in there. That is way too dangerous, but I am gonna try to. Um, look, baseball cards. How does that survive? You know what I mean? Oh my gosh, y'all. So y'all don't worry, but y'all be praying for my clients um dollars and cents wonderful wonderful people don't worry they're covered insurance it will cover cover it but that see right there that's the room we had a solo room for their sports cards only where we were pulling a little at a time and selling it and that stack right there look those are all baseball cards y'all those are all baseball cards and we're not talking crap we're talking about stuff from the 40s and 50s and 60s that whole room was literally stacked with, I mean, thousands upon thousands upon thousands, like hundreds of thousands of cards. Um, uh, anyway, guys, I just, I really don't even know what to think about this right now. We've been going since 3 a.m. and uh, I don't think I've slowed down enough to where it's really hit me because I keep like, feel like I'm gonna lose it. And then I, I just remind myself of the good Lord and that this is all temporal, but it just, it does hurt that we've put so much work and not just me, y'all, it ain't just me, my team. Katie has been with me for three years and she's put her life and soul into this place and does not even have a place to come work tomorrow. It's just, it feels weird. You know, it feels weird. Um, but I know, I know everything will be all right. So anyway, we're hoping, uh, insurance will, uh, I don't, I don't know what all our policy covers, but I know that I just want to make sure my employees are played. I'll, I'll figure me out. You know, I've been a survivor all my life and, uh, but I do worry about my dear wife. She's, I was whispering like, she's not going to hear, like she's not going to watch this, but my, my wife, she's just, she's sensitive. She's sweet. This kind of stuff just breaks her. I feel like this has been my whole life, though, stuff like this just happening. But, you know, uh, it's the refining process that the Bible talks about. And I, I feel like the Lord's building me up for something. I just, I don't know what it yet. And I don't know why this would happen. But, I mean, it's an electrical problem, you know. I'm not saying that, that anything weird happened. I just think it's an electrical problem. It just happened. But, anyway, guys, uh, we're going to go. I'm going to see if I can go inside right now. All right, guys, so I don't know how the inside's gonna be. I don't even know if they tried to lock this. It looks like the fire department uh, set this aside. Uh, that's our gate. Obviously, you guys know this place. Hey, you guys have been with us almost nine or 10 months, guys. Y'all know this place. This is y'all's place too, you know? This is, y'all been a, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this, y'all. Hey, let me turn this off and turn my flashlight on. All right, guys, so check it out. This is the first time these walls were blue. Um, what I'm really sad is, is a lot of my personal stuff, like my YouTube stuff, uh, from you guys, my fan mail. Um, we'll try to get that off the wall, guys. I'll try to save that stuff. Uh, this was Lunker stuff he had just bought, y'all. Look at all these walls. Um, I don't even know what, that's where art was hanging, y'all. Look at that. That's where art was hanging. Uh, oh my gosh. Look, y'all remember the... Y'all remember the African mask that we found? There's that. Remember that sculpture we found? Guys, and look, listen, please listen. We have insurance. I just don't know how long this takes, but here's the deal. If you bought something, if you see something, you're going to get a refund. Everything's going to be okay. 
Uh, the floor is completely black. Oh, look, y'all. There's the Gucci. I can actually maybe salvage that. I don't know for... I don't know why I would, but... Okay, so y'all got to know the fire didn't even come in this room. This is all smoke damage, okay? And y'all are just going to have to forgive me for the lie. I can't help it. Look, there's our mannequin. This at once upon a time... Um... Was our photo booths and like our photo booth stuff. Um, man, look at this. Uh, Lunkers comics are going to be ruined, uh, but that'll be covered in the insurance guy. So there will be no Lunkers 2 uh, auction. Here's our carts. Look, here's some of uh, Lunkers comics right here. Those are not salvageable, guys. If you know comic books, it's not salvageable. Condition on that kind of stuff is everything actually lunkers comics are over there i'm not going to step over all that stuff okay so look the fire did reach this it obviously this is where you'd go out member and we do all of our shipping in this room and then you would turn that way and go to the big warehouse it is all gone actually look guys that's where we were was outside so we it's it's gone everything is gone Okay, this was about to go back in the Packy Magoo sale because we had someone who bought this a long time ago out of the sale. Um, and they didn't want to pay for shipping. Go figure, huh? That somebody would buy something that big and not want to do that. So anyway, guys, uh, that's not salvageable. It's just not salvageable, but it will be covered in the insurance. I've, I've already talked to Packy Magoo. He's one of our, He's I, I consider him a friend now. He's a, he's a friend. Um, but he's just more worried about us. Be careful, sweetheart, okay? Okay. Um, so look, there's upstairs. I don't even know if we want to venture upstairs. Uh, but everything down here due to smoke is going to be ruined. And even the baseball cards, guys, they're just going to be ruined. Um, I don't know. Should I? I don't know if these stairs lost their integrity, guys. Um, I want to see how bad the smoke um, was into the thrift store. That literally, no joke, guys. Okay, I can't do this. I'm already getting lightheaded. Hey, dear. Oh, yeah, let's get out of the building. I'm starting to feel really weird. Yeah. I just tried to go up the stairs and I got really lightheaded. <coughs> Look, there's Racky. <Wreck> bro. <coughs> Sorry, guys. All right, guys, we won't be doing that again. I'm not going to lie uh, here. I'm just showing them. Yeah, it's yeah. water. That's why you don't go into burning buildings, y'all, or even buildings that have been done burning. Whew. All right, guys, that was really weird. So I just got really lightheaded going up those steps. And I just couldn't breathe. And I had to come out here and drink water. And I just kept drinking water to throw it up, I guess, to flush my lungs out. Whew. I'll be back in a minute. All right, y'all, there she goes. So <clears throat> anyway, I think I'm good now. I think it got out of my lungs. I will never, ever go into a building that has been burnt like that again. That was really weird, really scary. Uh, but anyway, guys, hey, if you... Um, shoot i don't even know i don't even know i don't even know what to say i don't even want to cut this out i don't even want to edit i just want to go and put these pieces together release the video and go to bed that's what i want to do and that's my what i do so anyway hey we do we appreciate you guys so much uh you know what that really is uh, i meant it that was almost it felt like a big place uh it wasn't just our place it felt like it was y'all's place too because y'all have been there with us literally like every day for like eight or nine months y'all have joined us on this journey I don't think it's over. I think we're going to come back bigger and stronger. But just right now, you know, it's a little hard to see through that whenever you just get done with that. Um, and then we're just going to be rushing around the next week, probably just trying to figure out where do we go? You know, all our product was in there. Like, how long is the insurance going to take? I don't know. Uh, we're not rich people. I know we get a lot of comments like we're not rich people. We're normal folks, guys. that just bust our butts. And um, just because I enjoy what I do. And so anyway there's so much in the air but here's one thing i know i know it don't matter because even if i if the lord were to take me now i know where i'm going and that's where my hope is like i said probably three or four times in this video that's why you don't put your hope in things actually we were driving down this strip when i told you all this last time so it must be something about this spot don't put your hope in stuff it's it it'll be gone life stuff can be gone like that guys you never know that's why you put your hope in the lord guys and that's why you invest more time into people be kind to people i know i'm not perfect at it but i just try to be kind to people because you just don't know what's going to happen the next day you don't know and so anyway and i want to live a legacy of not stuff or that i built some huge business i want to leave a legacy of someone who tried their best to treat others like the lord uh, has treated me and 
just try to be a good example to Christ to all. And I'm not perfect at it, won't be, you know, that's the whole thing, right? It's not about perfection, it's about progression, right? If perfection was possible, the cross wasn't necessary. So in saying that beautiful message, I have to tell you that that's the end of this video. So make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell, select all, because we do do premieres. And we will keep releasing videos as often as possible. The quicker we get on our feet, the quicker we get back to daily videos. We love you, and we'll see you then.